Hey guys, it's Meme and my one trusty sidekick today. It's Shannon. <laughs> Vinny is with his parents. Mima had an appointment in Montgomery, so they took this opportunity to have lunch with some family while they were down there. So we're just going to be us today, unless he surprises us and walks in at some point, because he could. You never know. Welcome in, everyone. It's Tuesday afternoon. I want to do a tiny, tiny bit of housekeeping before we get to crafting. It's just a little thing, but it's actually turned into a pretty big thing. So as of February 1st, there were some guidelines in emails that people had to get there. I don't, it's so technical, but they had to get up to the par of where emails were supposed to be. Okay. Well, some, it looks like some different servers have not gotten there yet. So when we're sending out emails, we're getting a lot of kickbacks, a lot, like hundreds of emails are kicking back to us. And yeah. we were on the phone with our, um, server this morning and they were like you're completely up to date you're where you should be the problem is some of these other places aren't okay here's the issue <laughs> they're like you need to let these you need to let the folks sending you the emails know that they need to reach out to their provider and tell them there's an issue well the problem is we can't email you because it won't go through to you so here's what i need you to know if you have emailed us since february 1st and have not heard back please call us because unless we have your phone number or a way to contact you otherwise. And even at that, like Shannon has like 40 emails that are not going through 40 different folks she's talking to that won't go email. through. Yeah. That's not everything. So if you didn't get the folio email, call us. <laughs> if you didn't get the um, club, anything from club, call us. If you've not seen, and by the way, it's not, it's not happening with our, newsletter email because it's done through a different server and apparently that server has been approved through those other places so far um and that we also check today and it's not happening on our order site like if you order something your notifications are going through which is good we want to make sure remember this all of our emails come from different things because we use different apps to make it happen but the big thing is this if you're waiting on an email from us and you have not heard back it is not because we're not trying to answer you. Yes. Every single person from Haley to Amber to Shannon have been checking their email every day and they just are struggling. So please, 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 if you are waiting on an answer from us, we can't answer you. Please call us. Okay. Yeah, and Haley and Amber have access to the emails that they, we've been trying to send to you. They know all the information. So you don't have to speak to me. Right. You can ask them and they will help you get what you need. Um, but I'm sorry. She's telling you that because if you say I need to, I need to leave a message for Shannon because Shannon's on the phone most of the time or either on email most of the time. So if you need to leave a message for Shannon, you really don't have to wait for Shannon. Yeah. If Haley or Amber answers, they can help you. Yeah. But if, if you want to ask to Shannon, you can, you can speak yeah. to Shannon. We're not saying you, yeah, can't. you can't. I'm just saying you don't have to. Okay. Look, waiting on my email. See, if you are waiting on an email, you shouldn't be. Everyone we can answer, we have answered. I take that back. Yeah, I've, Up until lunch. I've we responded to, lunch. to all of your emails. If you emailed me, I finished all of them up yesterday. However, I have been getting kickbacks from emails undeliverable. So. And by the way, it's a lot. It's it's Yahoo, it's Gmail, um, Google, Gmail. Um, uh. AOL, AOL, Comcast, um, it's, it's, it's a mixture. It's, and the weird thing is it's not every person, which is even weirder, yeah. but we did talk to our um, server this morning and they were like, you're completely where you need to be. They went in and looked at it. They're like, they can see. And matter of fact, they said, if this doesn't clear up in 48 hours, you're going to have to start contacting people. And so I thought, I'm just going to tell y'all why we're on the live today. Okay. Enough of the junk. <laughs> yes. If you got the password email, you're good. Yeah, if you yeah, can, yeah. If you got the password email, then that's pretty much what you need. <laughs> I should tell y'all too that this is not just a May, May thing. This no. is like a thing. So if you're sending emails and not getting response, you might want to contact whoever you're emailing because they just may not even know it. Or they might have, like Shannon sent an email yesterday. No, no, no. Amber sent an email yesterday, but didn't even get noticed that it was kicked back until the day. So she thought the person had the answer. So it's a, it's a, it's, you guys are so patient with us. You always are. So it's frustrating for us because we think you've gotten an answer that you didn't get. So that's an issue. But other than that, we can handle it. We're not, you know, if you need to call us, call us. It's fine. We're good with that. Okay, let's do something fun. Diamonds are our girl's best friend. So Shannon and I have been having fun researching fun folds for our fun fold folio series. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Um, if you haven't seen that, we started doing folios that have fun folds in them because I thought it'd be neat to mix 
fun fold cards and folios to kind of, I want to try to make it make sense that adding the flips and the flaps. And I feel like if you're a card maker, a fun fold makes sense. If we just glue it into a folio, it makes sense. So that's what we've been trying to do. But today I want to bring you three cards that are diamond folds. And these are cards that look really difficult, but they're not. OK, so before we get started, I want to tell you, um, Tamitha will have to let me know. But Tamitha has made a blog post for you guys because I have done photos, all this kind of stuff for you. OK, and I want you to be able to access it after the show. So there'll be a blog post linked in the description of this video. So if you're watching the replay, everything we do today, click the description and you'll see that. OK, so we're going to start with one that I think this is really cool. It's called the Side Fold Diamond. OK. And I don't know if I should show this first. How should I do this? Show this first and then do the then do the work, probably. Yeah. Let's let it make sense. OK, so where did the sample go for this? Did I get rid of it? Oh, I wrote all over it, didn't I? OK, so this is the side fold diamond. And what's going to happen is when we create this fold, this is going to fold over here and there'll be a diamond sitting here. That one? No, oh. there'll be a diamond sitting here and then card sticking out here. This one, I want to tell you this too. We did research. This is where this came from. I saw, listen, a hundred people make them, okay, all over YouTube, but I want to give the person I watch credit. That's how I'm just going to do it, okay? So Creating with Christina on YouTube did this one and she called it Side Fold Diamond. You don't have to search. We're going to have her linked in that blog post. I'm going to have the videos that inspired me in the blog post, okay? So this one starts with a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by nine and three fourths. These pictures will be on the blog post as well. You'll be able to do all of this when we get through today. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, I'll just use this because I'm in case we trim. I don't know if we're trimming anything, but we're already four and a quarter by nine and three fourths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, can I put this in the screen? I'm going to yes. take this piece of cardstock. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to do is do this score mark right here. And it's at four and a quarter. So I'm going to put this in and score four and a quarter. Hey, dad, glad you made it. Um, so what we're doing is making a square over here. Okay. So we've got four and a quarter wide and then four and a quarter score. And that makes a square. Now, this is where it can get a little confusing. From that score mark we just made, we're going to measure back two and an eighth and measure out two and an eighth. OK, so I'm going to do that with a pencil and a ruler. And if you guys don't mind, I'm going to take my time with this today because I don't want you to get confused. I want you to be able to use all those resources to be able to make diamond cards for all your family after this. OK, so I'm going to mark two and an eighth from that score mark. Then I'm just going to turn it around. And from that score mark, I'm going to mark two and an eighth. That's the only marks we need to do here. OK, then what I want to do go back to my sample sheet. Then, so I just did these two marks. While I've got my ruler, while I've got my pencil, I want to come over here to this side and mark two and one eighth in the middle. Okay, so we're getting a lot of middle marks. <laughs> so I'm going to come over here and we're just going to mark in the middle of this at two and an eighth. All right, so we've got all our marks done. Now, I'll tell you what else we'll do. Since we have our ruler and our, pen and our pencil out, let's go ahead and draw a line from this two and one eighth to the one we did on the side. Let's just draw a little pencil line, okay? And let's do the same at the bottom. Oh, I didn't mark my two and one eighths at the bottom, y'all. I'm being all proud of myself, but I gotta mark them down here too. So you have to do it on both sides or you won't know where to go. I'll go ahead and trace that while I'm here. <clears throat> and let me measure two and an eighth down here. Now, these are those cards that are like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit down and like make a bunch of these. Like this would be like the special Valentine Day card I wanted to make for somebody, right? All right. So now this right here, we'll come back to that in a few minutes. What I want to do now, I've got my four and a quarter score line here. Y'all like when you can see, hang on. I've got my four and a quarter score line here. Now what I want to do is I want to make these score marks that make an X. All right. So from that two and an eighth mark to this two and an eighth mark, we're going to score. So I'm just going to put this into my trimmer on the cut line and score across. That makes my first X. 
this really is an easy card to do. I know sometimes making all these pencil marks and things kind of run people off, but it's so easy to do. And it looks really good too, because it looks like, wow, that's a cool card. How did you do that kind of thing? All right, so we've got all our score marks done. Let's go ahead, we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and do our folds. Now, what I wanna do is this, our first fold is gonna go through the middle and I'm just gonna fold it just like this. I'm gonna fold it up, okay? And then I'm going to come right over here and I'm going to fold it down. And what you want to do is make sure you're nice and straight. So I just want to kind of look at that and make sure I'm getting the right angles. Somebody said the zero point would work there. It would if you didn't know the measure. If you're ever like, I don't know what the center of this is and you don't want to do the math because that's usually when I use my zero point. But I happen to know half a four and a quarter is two and an eight. So that one wasn't too hard. All right, let's try to get this one nice and square. Look at you sounding like Noah. <laughs> what did I do? You're, you're halves and measure. They're doing fractions right now, mm. and he's halving them and all this stuff. And All right, so we've got that done. We kind of took a bite out of it with that. I like it. Now I want to slice these corners off, and I'll go back to the trimmer for that. It looks like a diamond when you did that. Yeah, because why? Diamonds are a crafter's best friend. Or girl. Or both. I changed it on my title, on my thumbnail. I told Shannon, I'm like, I don't want to just say it's a girl's best friend because we have crafters that aren't girls. I'm like, I'm going to scratch out girl and put crafter. And she's like, that'll work. All right. So here's what we're working with. Now watch this. We're going to come just like this. <laughs> I always forget how to fold. Y'all are going to laugh at me so much today. I promise. Okay. So you want it. See how I've got that facing down. We need to turn it up. And then you're just going to push this down and all of that's going to go where it needs to go. Now, as it does, it might get a little off kilter, but don't worry. You're going to hold it where it goes and retrain it. Isn't this a cute, How to cute, train your car. How to train your paper, right? How to train your folds. Look how cute that is. Super easy. Now, I was doing the cards and designing these sheets right here, right? You can tell because it's sloppy hand, right? And I did these. But while I was doing that, Shannon was doing the cuts for me because I wanted we wanted to kind of decorate one, too. But it would take forever for me to cut them all on screen. So let me show you what we've got. We have this piece. Remember, all the measures are going to be in the blog post. Or if you don't want to wait for the blog post, you can go watch their video. OK, their video has these measures, too. The ones that we're linking for you. I saw the graduation cap, too, Eva. And wait in a minute. You're really going to see one. OK, so this piece right here is four by five and a quarter. Now, what we want to do, this piece is going to go inside here. I need to get that point at the top. Now, this is a great place to use your centering ruler, um, although it's four, so you know it's two. But I'll show you. If you um, put this where you've got two inches on either side, that's how you use your center ruler. So I've got two right here and two right there. And I, look, it's right on that little green line. And then we have to measure down. What was my measure down? Do you remember? Two and an eighth. Two and an eighth. Same as the same as the front? I don't know. I wrote it somewhere. Oh, I don't know that one. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Is it two and an eighth? It's got to be, right? Know. It's got to be. Your, your mark was two and an eighth. It's got to be two and an eighth. What's the worst could happen? You have to cut me another piece. That's I mean, honestly, that's happen. the worst that could happen. Oh, and while she's doing this, the paper I used for this one, Tamith has linked it. But it's the special delivery baby. It's the one that's for anybody. It's so cute, you guys. And um, we're also using the ephemera from it. Um, you'll see these cards being the on an angle. You can cut a cut apart, but then you have to cut it twisted or put it on. I'll explain it when we get off. There. But we also use those, so we didn't have to make any fancy cuts. Yeah. Okay. So now. Let me show you what's going to happen. See this? This is where this is going to end up. Isn't that cute how it just sinks in there? Yes. But we're going to put it on our piece over here. So it's going to go like that. Love it. It reminds me of um, the pop and twist card. It had this kind of shape in the middle. One, the first one I ever did. I don't know if I've ever seen that pop and twist card, but I'm going to tell you all something. This guy's got to come out of the, um, it's got to come back into work. It has been off for a while. They're back in stock. I can use it again. But the pop and twist card, the very first one I ever did had that funny spot in the middle. And I showed you how to measure for it. But since then, I've learned how to do it easier. So, all right, I'm going to put this guy up here, glue him down. And you do get the matte edge because of the measurement. 
I love it. I'm completely crooked, but I'm going to let it ride. We're not going to stress about it. Okay. Then we're going to go back to all our little pieces that Shannon did. And I'm, I'm so shocked you went with green. Like, I'm so shocked. So we have two pieces here, okay? I did all the plaids. You did, thank you. Two and three quarter square and a two and a half square, okay? So I'm going to take the two and three quarter square first. And I'm going to glue it down. The, the paper pad really lends to the green, though, okay. because it's kind of the gender neutral, so you don't know what baby you're having yet or what maybe somebody else is having yet. To be so honest, I'm surprised you went to one. kind of this brown orangey. I'm surprised you did that. I liked it. You're, it's really a good, it's a good I liked choice. It. All right. And then Super this one, I'm going to glue down on top of that. Super cute. Super cute. This is what Shannon was saying about this section here. Perfect spot for a stamp sentiment. Perfect spot for a sticker. But what she did was she found a little uh, ephemera piece that would go right here. And you can glue it straight down or you can pop it up. I don't have any foam right here, so we're going to glue it straight down. Glue. And I like how the all the angles work together. You know what I'm saying? So look, hello world. Now you're like, but where do you write on it? You have a couple options. This lays flat. You can write right inside of here. That's super cute to write inside of there. Or you have this whole backside. Now, if you want to cover all of these guys, it's not hard to do. And I'm going to show you in the next card how to make that happen. Not in this one in particular because it wasn't designed that way. Honestly, what I think would be super cute of this card is to use designer paper here also, not just the solid. So you'd have a pattern back here too. And then put a little um, square to write on back here would be that really would be cute. Super cute. But isn't that a cute diamond card? Watch. Super cute. Boing. 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 No, it's boing. 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 <laughs> boing, boing, boing. All right. That's the card. Numero one. By the way, that one again is called the Side Fold Diamond, and it'll be in the blog post for you. All right. Do you want to, should we, we probably should keep up with those separately for some reason. I don't know why, don't but we're going to want it. Okay. This card, super easy diamond card. I love this. Y'all get the diamond thing, right? Because I'm trying to drop hints to vents. Diamonds are diamonds, you know. Okay. So... <laughs> This is called the Double Diamond Fold card, and this one was inspired by Sugar Shine Designs, and her information, her video will be linked in the description, and um, I think she even does one, I think she even does a PDF for you that you can get this from. All right, here's what you need for this one. You need a 12-inch piece. My hands are frozen. I wonder why. Oh, there they went. All right, is it jumping? Have you noticed it jumping? It has jumped. Just once, or should I? Um, it was jumping earlier on me. Yeah, but it's jumping. I noticed it on just StreamYard. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to it on. My... Yeah, it was jumping. It's back now. We'll see if we can keep up. Okay, so this is a twelve-inch piece, and it's four inches high. Now, at first, I thought, well, I don't want to do four. I want to do four and a quarter. It doesn't work quite the same because we're trying to get a square here. Okay, so we need to keep an even number so we can keep a square in the middle. So if you're if you're thinking like I did, oh, I'll just make this four and a quarter. Don't try it. Okay. Hey, somebody said, what do you use for an envelope? This will fit in an A2 because it is only five and a half by four and a quarter. So this one will fit in an A2. I'm pretty sure this one does too. We'll measure it in a second. All right, let's put that there and let's do our measures. Let's bring the scoreboard over for this one because I think... Is it going to bother y'all too much if I put that sideways? It might bother you. But this is what I can still point to show you what we're doing. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, there are no scores this way. You don't have to put this in this way at all. Okay. We're going to do some diagonals, but nothing long ways. So we're going to put it into our scoreboard. And this is so fun. Okay. We're going to score at two, at four. At six, I want you to make a tiny score at the top, just a little mark, and a tiny mark at the bottom. Then I want you to score eight and then ten. Now, if you can't see your little marks here, take your pencil, do a little tiny mark, just a tiny mark. Okay, we're going to need that to reference. So what we just did was we did this score, this score, these marks, this score, and this score. Okay, this looks so hard. It is not hard. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do our, our cross scores, okay? So where you made your six inch mark and this very first score, the two inch score, we're going to diagonally score in an X shape across that. So from the top to the bottom, this is why I have that marker mark in my scoreboard. 
This is so I can line up. I can see which groove I'm on. You see? It's life changing. It, it's fantastic. I mean, you can't. It's fantastic. I don't know why manufacturers don't just go ahead and do that. I know. You because just should. you can't tell from can't top float to if bottom you don't have it. where the line continues and That's goes. Right. All right. So we've done half. See that X? We've done half. And now we're going to do the other half. Same thing from our first score to our middle mark at six inches. Yeah, the black line is very similar to a glue press. You can't live without either one of them. You can't. Did somebody say that? No, I'm saying it. it I don't know why. Bonnie said she loved her glue press. It's so great. It is fabulous. The things people come up with. Honestly, I looked at it and went, eh. She did. Yeah. And then we used it. And then I've missed it because I hadn't been able to use it. All right. So you may not believe it, but this is what we've got. This looks like a a fence. If you're from the South, it looks like it needs to be painted white and outside somebody's house with some cattle behind it, right? Yeah. A white fence. All right. So here's what we're going to do. On your diagonals, you're going to push them all backwards. So I'm going to fold. And again, you want to make sure you're straight. And one way to do that is use all your little reference marks you've got. Um, the black line um, on the scoreboard, we just use a Sharpie. Yep. I just used a Sharpie, opened it up, pressed i had to do it a couple times to get the sharpie to go down in there but the nib of the sharpie will i mean don't use one you love because you're gonna mess the nib up i mean not terrible you're still it's still usable if it's a brand new regular tip it might be it better be than fine. after we use them forever because we mess we, we can mess up some sharpies um, just today i said it. do you have a good sharpie no and i've been meaning to buy some good sharpies and hide them i thought i just bought some maybe amber hit them that's why we can't find them i could have swore i just bought some sharpies maybe they might be in Vince's room because he might have needed some. I'll have to go look. All right. Folding all those, the, um, all of our X's backwards. Okay. Then I'm going to fold these ends up. Again, square everything up. Then I'm going to fold these ends up. Or this end. All right, now what we've got is this one in the middle that I haven't scored, and I want to score it forward as well. I mean, I want to fold it forward as well. I have scored it. I haven't folded it. So I'm just lining up my middle. So it's coming forward also. So the only things that you fold back are the X's. Everything else is getting folded forward. That'll just help you do the last fold, okay? All right, so now you want to see the diamond appear? It's pretty cool. You're going to push these guys back. We always want to see the diamond appear. Yeah, really. And then look, I'm a little bit wonky, so I'm going to lay it where it needs to go. And then I'm going to retrain my paper. See the diamond appear? Not cool. I think it's pretty neat. So this is now our double diamond fold. Neato, right? Super cute. So easy. All these cards, when you see the pictures, always look so intimidating. Like, oh, it's going to be hard. But it's not. The hardest part of this one, I'm just going to tell you, is the cuts. It's a little bit, um, were these just notes for me? Oh, those are your measurement notes. Okay. Yeah. It's a little quilty card. Okay. It's a little bit like a quilty card. Now, all these measures are going to be in the description of the videos of the people who we've linked for you, okay? But this is going to be what we're going to put on this end, and we're going to put this on this end. I'll glue those down in a second. Shannon's already kind of, to save time, she's already glued our little mat pieces together. Now, when you watch the videos from the people that I'm using these cards from, you'll get to see how these are cut, okay? Those are options, aren't they? I yep, got you. options. So these guys right here, I want you to watch the other folks' videos. They did all the work. Go ahead and watch and see how to do this. But this starts out as a square that gets cut eight into eight pieces, okay? And these pieces, let's build from the middle, you reckon, to make yeah. it make sense? So here's the deal. All these measures, again, are going to be on those folks' videos. This is a little map piece that goes in the middle. See why we needed a square to make this part easy? And the designing part of this is fun, but it's also, it's a little bit tricky because you want a lot of movement. You want a lot of interest. So you don't, you're not doing just solid. See how we've kind of mixed up the dark, the solid and the pattern kind of mixed it here and there. Then I'm going to put these, go ahead and put these on the outside. 
Sorry, I threw design in there on you, so you have to make sure you put them right. I have to do the orient. I have to pay attention <laughs> to my nemesis. Orientation. This paper was a hard one to um, decide which pages I was going to use because there's so many pretty ones. Oh. And this one was at home, six by six. Okay, let's put these on. So this, I want to show you, this starts as a square. No, it doesn't. No, it starts as a big square. It 100% could start as a square. It could. That's let's just do that. So, Tamith, let's edit this score. You're going to, um, this is what you'll need. That's the one that threw me off. It's Yeah, that's it did, and you didn't need it. You uh -uh. didn't need it to. No. Two and an eighth square, and then one and seven eighths mats. And you're going to cut it on the diagonal. Cut them both on the diagonal, then mat them. Yep. That was I mean, a long way around, wasn't if it? If you're covering both sides, yeah. then it makes sense. But, yeah. Because the way in the video shows you to take a big square and cut it into four pieces. Yeah, because I wound But you don't really need to do having that. having more square left than I needed. All right. want to make sure we're clear and everything. Hello, everyone. Some folks are coming in late. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, um, the glue press is kind of, um, it's it's kind of a craft life changer. It's kind of a non-negotiable, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. These guys get glued in here in all these little pieces, okay? You don't have to put all this on. You can start and stop wherever you want. To be honest with you, I think for bulk purposes, I wouldn't do in here. What I would do is use a pattern page on the back. Because this is a 12 by 12 strip that you started with. What a great way. And remember, it's 12 by 4. That means you can get three from one sheet of cardstock. Mm. See? So if you had like a buffalo check piece, of course, you'd want to use that. <laughs> you need to send this card to Taylor. It's very. Like, this is very Taylor, isn't it? Although she might probably be gonna sad. Say, no, it's not. Y'all really think that card is me? <laughs> I told y'all about the cake plate, right? Whenever I said. So this cake plate is so Taylor. And like 20 minutes later, she's like. Did y'all really think that cake plate was me? If I'd have thought about it, I would have um, rotated colors. No, this is good. Well, you some. didn't because you did a square. You cut down to this. So. Well, I mean, flip the other sides over when I was gluing the mats. You know, oh, I, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Then again, I might not have been able to because, you know. Honestly, <laughs> I'm the kind of card maker that this is too much work, all these little pieces for me. So I would literally use a designer paper in the background. It wouldn't hurt a thing. You wouldn't have any bulk. You wouldn't be doing all these tiny things. So you, you got to make sure you get them on here right. You see, so it'll close yes. like this. So I have no problem just using designer paper in there. Um. Yes, Salty Beach Girl, we can see you. I miss Betty. All right. Yes, if you did start with pattern paper as the base, there would not have to be as much decorating. No, but it was easy, kind of peasy, fun peasy. to cut all the papers and glue all the papers. But I like this crazy, tedious little work. She does. It's insane. She loves it. And y'all all know how much I love it. That's why I did it. So another diamond is a crafter's best friend card. I think this is really cute. I think it's different. Um, somebody commented earlier that recipients really love fun folds. They do. People love to get this kind of stuff. Now I want to show you this. So Shannon went through and found different cut aparts. And look, you can put it on the angle and you can put this, you can use this as a sideways card or you could put it up like this because it's going to be just fine. You could pop it up in the middle what I would do. or you could fussy cut and put them down. Or if you have the ephemera pack for this. Do we have it? Possibly. Yeah. Oh, this That's, is cute. Enjoy every moment. Uh, it's actually, cute. no, it's not over here. This would be cute if you punched it and then glued it down. Or you can stamp a sentiment and pop it up on top of there. They had some solid ones um, that you could have actually probably stamped in. Oh, that's a cute idea. And put on there. Or they also had different um, paper or just colored squares. I'm going to use the Scub and Scallop. But that was just. Oh, that's the, perfect. Oh, yeah. The little Scub and Scallop. That is perfect. Did you hear what sounded like a semi truck door just opening? We do have a pallet coming today, don't we? I think so. 
Um, I know somebody asked earlier um, about the 49 Market albums, and they should be coming in anytime now. Yeah, actually, they're supposed to be on that. They, they might be here now. Um, so, yeah. I love this card. Anybody would know how to open it, too. It feels like a cootie catcher. Do you remember? Uh -huh. Yes. So for a kid, they would love this. They would just, I mean, I would do this all day long. That's cute, So that is number two. So to hire Shannon, does one ask for the name Shannon? No. Um, I don't really know how to tell you to do that. You have to hope that she all sees Shannons. your, that they see your Facebook post, your Facebook listing. That's what you have to hope. You have to hope their husband sees your Facebook That's listing. Because I didn't see it. He saw it. So guess he was trying to say, hey, go get a job. Just <laughs> pray time. about it. If you need a Shannon, pray for her. They appear. Okay. I'm going to do blue this time. Okay. Now I'm just going to tell y'all, this is a, this is a combo inspiration from Sam Calcutt and Christina Griffiths, two of my faves. Okay. If you don't watch them, you should. They're great. Now, to me, this would be a perfect um, new home card. And you'll see why when we get done with it. Okay. This one to me is a little hard to fold. But once you get the fold, it's good, okay? The scores and stuff are, the su are super easy. All right, let me turn this this way so you can see it, all right? This is an eight and a quarter by 11 inch piece. Now, as you know, Christina and Tam are both European. So they use a A4 card, which this is actually not the size of A4. And Tam talks about that in her video. So be sure to go watch her video so you can get all the info. But down here, she's like, you could leave this. You could leave that extra three, um, it would be extra three quarters of length for an A4. Yeah. You could leave that. You can make it as tall as you want to. This one will have to have a fancy envelope. You'll have to either use a different envelope or make one. Okay. Now, I have a blue piece because we want to do a blue card. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. And I'm going to score this in half at four and an eighth. Because it's four, no. Yeah, because it's eight and a quarter. Four and an eighth. Scored in half. Then I'm going to turn it one time and score it at four and an eighth again. Do you see what we're doing? We're making a square. You have to start with a square, right? I love this blue too. This is from the Sizzix pack. Uh, AC cardstock. Oh, AC. It is AC cardstock. Is it? A, did you? Yep. Is it this one? That's it. It's from this one right here. Sorry, it I thought it was matched from... the colors. Oh, and we're using the Simple Stories six by eight on this one, and it's the most recent fresh air that she Look how that looks. Thursday. Let me see that. It, it matched that perfectly. It was Look sitting that. behind you on the floor. This is why I love these. Uh -huh. Oh, they're fabulous. Miss Joan, you are the cutest. She okay. is. So now that we've done that, this is where we got to do a little more measuring than anything else. That's why I saved this one for last. Okay. So right here in the middle, you can see this line. We're going to do this now. And the way we're going to is we're going to go from where our lines cross over our score marks we just made. We're going to measure down an inch and a quarter first. I cannot believe how quickly we're getting through this. I thought this would take longer. Uh, Inch and a quarter. Joan, um, four score and umpteen years ago. Now what I want you to do is from this line, I want you to measure down three and an eighth. Okay. Again, go give some love to these creators who did these videos. Go tell them, thank you so much for doing those diamond fold cards or whatever you want to say to them, but go give them some love. Go subscribe. Three and an eighth. All right. Now what we're going to do is draw a line. No, I'm not going to draw a line. I drew a line earlier. We're going to score. And here's the thing. For this one, you cannot score it. I mean, I guess you could. Huh. I absolutely could. I'm not going to. Okay. You could put this into your scoreboard and lay your ruler down. And then just go from here. Just kind of float score it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to press onto my work surface. I'm using a glass mat. It doesn't matter. If you have a mouse pad, I have one right here. If you have a mouse pad, you want to put underneath it. If you're wanting a deeper, whoops. If you want a deeper score mark. Just go right like this. Put your mouse pad down. And score that. Be careful though, because you can cut through it. Don't use your Hulk strength. Okay, so you can see my score mark. Let's do another one. From here to here. Press, press, press. Okay. Now then, here's where the fun begins. 
this is so easy too, because at first I was like, this is hard, but it is not hard. It is super easy. Did I do that? Sorry, y'all. I hit the button. Okay. I don't know, Steve Urkel. I did. Did I do that? We're going to fold this in half on our center score. I'm going to say this to you guys, and you're going to think that I'm like tooting my horn. I'm not. I'm not that person. I'm so grateful to all these YouTubers that take the time to make these videos for us because even I get use out of them like this. <laughs> even I'm like, how do you make that? Oh, that's cool. You know? Um, so I'm so grateful for all of their their hard work. All right. So I'm going to do that one. Now I'm going to do the other one, like the plus sign here. Y'all got to be too. Just like this morning. Here's what I love. We went, we're still, we're doing other research too. And I'm like, I didn't have to pay for any of that. That's, that, it's incredible what we get without paying for it. The resources that are yes. available for crafting are incredible. Yes. And we don't pay for it. It's no. crazy. And they're almost on like every social media now. Like oh, you can yeah. go anywhere and learn how to do mm, just something. about anything. All right. Do you see that I folded this in half and I'm doing this score mark with the whole thing folded in half? Pretty smart, right? Yeah, Pretty two smart. birds, one stone. Yeah, you're getting them both. And I'm going to turn it back and do it both directions. I'll say this, and again, it's going to sound like I'm like preaching. I'm not preaching to y'all, but here's the thing. It is free. We do it for free. And if you want to tell us how much you love us, one of the greatest ways is to hit that subscribe button. It just helps us. The second, not the second greatest way, but probably the first is to like the video. If you're watching somebody's video and you like it, it just helps. It lets YouTube know this is a good video and people and like comment. it. comment. Comment is a great Comment. one, too. This is where I struggle with the fold. Okay, let me show you the fold. And then I'm going to make this one happen, okay? These are the ones I made on my notes on. So this center fold comes forward, and this bottom fold goes up, okay? That so looks like the flying nun. Is that, was that was Sally Field? I say, it looks like, yeah. Wouldn't she the flying nun? Why does that not feel right? It oh, is no. the flying nun. All right, so you have to get it there. And once you've got it there, you can crease it down. And this one, to me, would be a great graduation hat. Right? Yes. I think this would be a cool, cool, cool graduation hat. I'm a little off center, but I'm not going to stress about that. Isn't this neat? Now, here's how this one opens, which is why I think it would be cool for a house warming. Okay? When you open it, look, it looks like a little house. It does. Are you kidding me? Do you see the little house? It does. Wouldn't this be cute as a um, the flying nun? That's right. Wouldn't this be cute as a housewarming gift, a housewarming card? Yeah. Welcome to your new home. And boom, it's so cute. Okay. So let's decorate this one. Shannon, what paper pack did you use for this one? Um, This one was the Fresh Air 6x8. And we also used the bits and pieces. Um, There's a lot of different bits and pieces that would be absolutely adorable on this one. Now, we got to make our piece in here just like we did a while ago, okay? And what we're going to do is this piece, I forget the measurement, but it'll be in Sam's video. You're going to have to cut from up here down. And I think this one was, I wrote this, so it's I wouldn't forget there. it. Yeah. Well, maybe it's on there. One and seven eighths. There you go. Here's what you got to pay attention to, okay? If you're going to put a page on the inside of here, you got to pay attention to where your angle goes. Okay, because if you're going to put one out here, it might be different. It not necessarily. If you're going to put one here, it definitely would be different. You see how the angles go different? Just pay attention. Okay, great idea. A Christmas gingerbread open house cookie exchange that would be so cute for this one. All right, so I want it to go out here. So that means I'm going to do my one and seven eighths on the right hand side. So from the corner here, which side are you putting out? This Facing side. Out? Was that not what you had designed? No, I oh. had it the other way, but it's fine. But that was flipped the other way. But design it however you want. Well, you I know I'm like going with plaid. Way. Well, see, I did the plaid under the sentiment. Under the sentiment. I see what you did. Sentiment. Yeah. Sentiment. Sentiment. All right. One and seven eighths down. Make a pencil mark. Yeah, that's how we got sentiment. I went to say sentiment. That's how we got sen sentiment. Sentimental, right? Yeah. Sentimental. sentimental. The stamp set called sentimental. <laughs> I couldn't talk. Speaking of stamp sets, since you said that, today we put 30 additional stamp sets in the vault. We vaulted 30 additional stamp sets. What does that mean for you? That means that we have stamp sets as low as $8.99 and some even lower than that. And I thought you were telling me I had the price wrong, which nope. I could have. Nope. Um, but Either they're as right. low as $8.99 and you can pick those up those in the vault. Dance. If you go to our website, here's what I'm going to show this real quick. Real quick, you go to our website, you can click on the vault, Maymay's vault, and pick those up. Once they're gone, 
they're vaulted and we don't bring them back unless there's high demand. Okay, so see what I mean by if you wanted this piece here, if you wanted this piece here, I've done my angle wrong. See, but I could put it over here. It went from a fly nun to a housewarming. It did. Okay. Can y'all imagine 30 stamp sets I had to go in there and vault? I did it though. I was ruthless. She was. <clears throat> ruthless. All right, got to get a drink. The whole show is one drink. Not bad. Okay, now then, I'm going to take this guy, glue him down here. You got the yellow, right? <laughs> well. <laughs> this one was pretty easy, I think, to figure out. Anytime. So here we go. So cute. And then I'm going to put this one, although the flowers will be going sideways, but that don't bother me. Not for a millisecond. If you want to do it this way, do it this way. Doesn't bother me either way. Two flowers. Nice. It's so nice to have you back, Blue Press. Oh, that's upside down. At least they're going sideways. It looks like the sun was shining from over here and they're all growing to the sun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. Be happy, be bright, be you. This is from the ephemera pack. That how is. perfect is that? I love this. Love it. All right, you guys, that's three diamonds are a crafter's best friend. Um, did we did we vault gingerbread? I didn't think we did. This one also looks remember. like a frog. I think you could totally make that look like a frog. And use the frog stamp set? Yeah, totally. So it's vaulted and then vaulted? No, we took it out of the vault. It got it had a lot of requests to be out of the vault. All right, here we go. Three cards today. What did you think of that? I like them. I think they're cool. Kind of fun. Keep watching for more fun folds. We're working on our next fun fold folio. We're hoping that goes out Saturday night. We've got, we think we've got it planned. We think. But um, I it's love not that. Showing Ginger Fred as vaulted. I didn't think, I thought we brought it back last year because somebody asked or something. I can't remember. Yeah, um, it's 18 available. They didn't take too long, Linda. However, I will tell you. This one is time consuming, cutting all the little pieces. That one took a little, like if, if I had to do that on the show, that would have taken long. These pieces are pretty easy cuts. Could have done these pretty easy. This one too. This one's a little time consuming, but again. It's easy. There's just a lot of Yeah, cuts. none of it's hard. I just wouldn't do this part. I would do it on, matter of fact, I'll tell you. I wish I could show you. Can I show them? The new, the, um, there's a new paper set that came in. We were, is it, can I show it? I don't know. Because that think. paper would be perfect for this. I don't think it's active. Um. Yeah. It's the one, it's a simple the stories one. and it's a spring set. And we were waiting. It's got a, it has a companion pack with it. That companion pack would be perfect for this. I don't remember the name of it. It's a spring set. You might can find it. I can't remember. But the companion set is so cute. So cute. Okay. It's not vaulted. Okay. I didn't think, I think we brought it out of the vault. Yeah, it's it's not it's still on draft. Okay, that she's waiting on. There's something that she's waiting to come in before she makes it live. I can't remember what it is, but it'd be good. Here's what the other one is: just a gingham. It's gingham paper. So imagine doing this with dots and stripes. Buy the bits and pieces. Buy the camera. <laughs> They're fabulous for doing things like this, and you can make so many cards with just plain paper with these. Thank you, Terry. I. I just made what other YouTubers taught me. I, they did incredible. I want to go ahead and I'll say their names again, just so you know. It was Crafting with Christina. It was Sam Calcott. It was Christina Griffiths. And it was, where'd my other notes go? I had one more. This one. Um, Sugar Shine Designs. They're the ones who did such a good job. Um, yes, if you are joining the Made It Club, you do have to create an account on the May May Events site if you have not yet. And it will prompt you if you go through checkout to create an account, enter an email address, 
and password. If you don't have that email address and password on the event site, down below that it says create an account. So if you create an account, then it'll let you proceed through the checkout and you should get the automated email with the password in it. If you do not, please call the store. Well, there you go, guys. Not, I mean, that's it for today. That's what I wanted to show you. I don't have any, we thought we were going to have some new product to show you, but it looks like it'll be Thursday night, which is probably fine because you want to go get your Vata stamps. You want to make sure you grab those before they get gone. Also, did you guys see the video that went out Monday about Craft Acropolis? That was a pretty, if, even if you've already purchased your Craft Acropolis tickets, I'd go watch that video just for some more clarification about Craft Acropolis. It's not Craft Acropolis, it's Scrap Acropolis. Craft Acropolis <laughs> is in June. Scrap Acropolis is, is in, in March. March. So make sure you saw that video just because I talk about what the teachers are going to be doing. And I know some of you guys haven't heard that yet. So um, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, um, the comment was about needing to drink constantly when you teach. When you talk constantly, especially when you talk loud, you try to talk loud for these microphones. So please answer my question above from Eva. Did we miss an Eva question? I don't know why it does this. Sometimes it just suppresses a question or suppresses something. Maybe Tamitha saw it or maybe you see it. I am not seeing it, Eva. If you don't mind posting it again. If you don't mind. Remember, if you have written us an email since February 1st and have not heard back from us, please reach out. We're not going to stay long because at 3 o'clock, the stamp set reveal happens. And oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so in love with it. It's like when it's it comes from a vaulted set we vaulted a set that i didn't love and we created this one and i love it this one probably won't get vaulted i love this one she asked if you can fold all the pages back on the three flip page album fold all the pages back on the three flip page album i'm trying to make that process Um, Bobby, regular A2 envelopes will work on two of the not cards. Not this guy. This guy needs a bigger one. But I not think he's, that one. I think he's, he's seven and a half-ish by six. He'd be a good hand there. Okay. A couple of questions coming in real quick. I want to answer before we go. Will the new club project work to print on regular card size? For me, that's 11 by eight and a quarter, or will it need to be the extra bit on width? You could probably resize it. It's a PDF, so you could just tell it to fit the page and be fine. That's what I would do. Because all it'll do is just bring it in a little bit. That's only a quarter of an inch different than what we have. So I wouldn't stretch, just tell it to fit the page. The next one is so many Acropolises. Yes, there are. <laughs> will the templates you use in this video be listed below? They will be in the description of the video. There'll be a blog post with the photos for you. Also, the folks who made those videos that I followed, I'm pretty sure they all had the same thing on their videos as well. Are you talking about the 49 and Market folios? She said they fold forward on the website. Or is that the three page? It's four pages in the new one. If, it's, if you're talking about the 49 and market, you can fold them either direction. Yeah. None. Of, I don't think any of them matter which way you fold them. Okay. And then there was another question I missed. Is there a final sign-up date for the March classes? Yes. March 1st. That's what we said. March 1st. Are you going to go, are you going to show ahead of time? Ah, what'd that say? Are you going to show ahead of time what we will be making for the event? If you sign up for the event, you will get a, um, Password, you have to go watch the video for the explanation. You get a password for the student portal. And in the student portal, once you've signed up, you'll have pictures of what we're doing. For now, you just get an explanation of what we're doing. So if you have to have pictures first, it will be a little bit before pictures show up because we're still we're still putting our samples together. We know what we're doing and we're excited about that because it's going to be good. All right. Is that it? Let me see. Yeah, the blog will not work until we end this live. Sure you can, April. That's not an issue. Go with go with what works for you. Where do we find the vaulted sets? On maymaymadeit.com. If you go where it says shop and you hover over the word shop and let the menu drop down, you'll see where it says vaulted. I think it'll say vaulted. 
the word vaulted will be there. It might say MMA vault, but it will be there and you can um, get it that way. I don't have, you're, we're literally, you're here just in time to pray. <laughs> we're literally finishing. We're wrapping up. Do you want to just scoot over here so we don't have to do your computer and everything? You can just get in camera with me. You can sit close to me. You're scared of me? Are you scared of me? Get your mic, though. You can turn it on. Well, you know, I'd rather not be like. <laughs> they want to see you anyway. May May vaulted is what it says. What are the costs of the classes? Um, while Vinny's coming over, I'll tell you. If the video explains it all. If you want just, if you want the entire event, it's one twenty nine ninety nine. If you want just the make it go, uh, the scrappy go round, it's twenty twenty nine ninety nine. And if you want just the classes and no make it go round, it's ninety nine ninety nine. Do they know what Amber too? Am I right? You don't know. No, we're not talking about that right now. Because <laughs> we didn't know for sure. We thought we heard, but we didn't know, so we're not talking about that right now. But we will come back live and do that if I need to. We'll do a different live. Ooh, killing stuff there today. Dude. We may have to because I'm not going to let them wait on that. Can you use points on vault items? Yes. Look who it is. What? A... Such a boy. What? Oh, such a boy. You're not in screen and I'm not in screen. Neither of us are. There you are. What? A... <laughs> Was that better? <laughs> just a boy. Look, you can tell you just came in from outside. Look at your glasses. Or is it me? It could be those. No, they're not fogged up. They're dark. Hello, everyone. Sorry I missed you today. I might have answered the wrong question. Because Tamith just clarified. I may have answered the wrong question. If you're talking about, is the club project going to be up for you to see ahead of time? Yes, the club project is. It is there. And everything you need to know, I know originally we said that you would be emailed the information. Everything you need to know is actually on the club project project page so if you click that underneath it it has the pdfs and everything for you there nothing will come to you from email besides the password to log in say thank you because they did their job without you even being here have we looked to see how well they've done their job we have 536 watching and we have 420 thumbs up and you weren't even here hey, that's pretty good y'all i'm so proud i'm proud of y'all so proud mighty proud that's so proud okay so we can get in closer. All right. We love you guys. Are we, is that it? Do we answer all the questions? I think so. Do you want to pray? You just got here, but will you pray us out? Yeah, I don't mind. All right. You ready? Yeah. Let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thanks for this day. I thank you for safe travel today. Uh, I just pray, God, your blessings on every person watching. God, I thank you for them. I thank you for their uh, love for us, uh, the sacrifices they make to hang out with us. And I appreciate that, God, so much. I thank you, thank you for each and every one. And I pray, God, that we're just a small blessing to them like they are to us. And I ask God today that your mercy and your grace would be poured out on each and every person. And we thank you for them today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, you guys, we love you very much. Again, if you need us and you if you've emailed us, do you see that my camera's backwards? If you emailed us since February 1st and you have not heard back from us, there's something wrong. Please call us. Use the website and call us so we can talk to you about what's going yeah, on. Yeah, because it's not that we don't like you. No, it's not. That. And we're not ignoring you. No, it, we're not. We promise. All right. We love you guys. Bye now. See ya.